Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to or how to have or how to set best settings for the gaming in the NVIDIA control panel. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about go over here, right click and go to show more options. Directly navigate to the NVIDIA control panel. Now from here, you have to wait for this to get completely load up. Now this is the NVIDIA control panel and the first one is all about you have to go over here click on the adjust over here and you have to select this one adjust image settings with the preview and you can see we have various options now the first one you have to set into use my preference emphasis in quality so if you're having a high end pc you can keep this on quality if you're having a low end pc sorry medium end pc you can keep this on balanced one if you're having a low end pc you can keep this on performance one so what I'm saying is if you're having a middle range or low end PC, either you can keep this on performance one or balanced one and you can set this up or you can directly go to the quality over here at the top for the high end users. For the time being, I let me keep this on the quality or the maximum because I'm having a high end PC and this is what you have to do. Next one, go to the manage 3D settings and here we have various options as you can see under the global setting. The image scaling should be turned off regarding the amb ambient occlusion as you can see. This should be set into the performance for the low end and mid PC. For high end PC, you can keep this on quality and you can check. And next one is all about if you're going for the game correction, you can scroll down a little bit and you can scroll down over here and go over here at the top. We can see a few more things. Now we have background intelligence, etc. and low latency mode. As you can see, this is very important and anti aliasing mode. And for the anti aliasing, as you can see, this keep this on all off. You can keep this on off. And low latency mode should be keep into ultra. It depends on the PC to PC. So if you expand this, you can see on and ultra. You can keep this on ultra. If you wanted, you can keep this on ultra. The next one regarding the low latency mode. If you scroll down over here, low latency mode and the maximum frame rate can be set into off. And also, if you scroll down, you will be able to find open GL. Over here, you can see rendering GPU. This should be selected into, as you can see, this should be selected into the auto in the sense. Uh, as you can see, we have both. You have to set this to auto. This is for the NVIDIA. Similarly, for OpenGL rendering GPU should also be selected to auto select. That means you should select to auto select as well, or you can change into NVIDIA over here. And right now, even if you scroll down somewhere else, you'll be able to find power management mode. As you can see, this is the power management. Set this to prefer maximum performance. And now go to the shader cache size that is the driver default one and go to the texture filtering over here as you can see we have quality over here and now go to the performance one over here and even if you scroll down you can see the vertical sync over here go to the vertical sync now find use the 3d application setting you can see this one and you can go for restore so these are the steps you have to take care of when you're setting up inside the nvidia app and once you're done with this one you can close everything over here and there is one more thing. Let me go back. I forgot it. Just go to the NVIDIA control panel. And once again, you have to go to, you have to expand this, click on the configured surround physics. Now from here, you have to set this to the maximum performance. That is NVIDIA GeForce over here and go for apply. And you can check this. And this is what you have to do. And these are the best thing that you can do for the NVIDIA app inside the best settings. And I hope this kick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye-bye.